What's happening? Prepping Pandas, Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I just got this. It's an emergency crank radio. You know I really like these things, not only because, you know, of the functionality and the compact size, but basically there's always going to be the unpredictable, the unexpected happening. Mother Nature is relentless and she is eternal. Uh, and so whether you deal with forest fires, wildfires, flooding, hurricanes, typhoons, the whole nine yards, you should have some sort of prep, you know. And I'm not saying go crazy, but have something. And this is a great way to start. A uh, hand crank solar radio like this can really make all the difference, especially if you need a little bit of power uh, connected to the outside world, what have you. This is an Iron Snow. I don't know that I'm pronouncing that right. It might be Iron Snow. But either way, uh, I've had some products from them before and I really liked them. This has like a velvety matte red finish, so it's very bright, which is nice. You can see here it's pretty small. This thing fits my hand nice and comfortably, so it's going to be easy to pack. We have an LED flashlight on this end. We have a crystal and solar cell on the top here. We have a power button right up there. We have AM, FM, and uh, weather band radio. The tuning uh, slider is right there. We have the power button and volume rocker. Looks like we have LED lights for battery uh, capacity or yeah, battery charge state. We have a speaker on the front. We have a slider here for weather band FM AM. So we will definitely try that out. Tuning knob here. And then on the bottom, looks like we have a battery compartment. Looks like, uh, oh, it looks like an 18650 rechargeable battery. I'm kind of assuming kind of assuming i don't want to take it out though we have a nice lanyard on this end here i wouldn't call this thing waterproof i don't know if it is or not but i wouldn't i kind of i see some protection here like this little rubber panel to protect the ports here so you do have a usb port for charging out um, a three and a half millimeter uh, port for headphones and then you also have a micro usb in for charging so you can charge it up off computer is that nice lanyard there and then we have a very nicely integrated handle here which you can pull out this is your dynamo handle uh, freewheeling tab on the back here so you can charge this up and if you can see on the side that little led is showing that it is charging and uh, that flips back there so no bigger than it needs to be retractable and deployable antenna right there now let's um let's give this thing a little bit of a workout here so right there got the flashlight on and as you can see nice and bright man that's uh that's totally usable light on and off right there and then if we go to uh tuning i think i've got it on fm right here so i'm going to turn front it on. of you an actual oh. physical jar it's got five questions inside these are the questions that, that we think really truly strip humanity down to its most wow Yeah. Let's try AM. And now it's an existential threat to the human species. Ah, totally existential threat. Let's try Weatherman. Weatherman is always a little tricky where I'm sitting. Signal isn't quote very good. But if I go outside, I can usually get really nice Weatherman connection. There we go. Weather band on there too. Pretty awesome. I really like this thing. I haven't even taken the plastic off or anything here. But this is a great little device to have in a bug out situation, uh, in your kit, in your glove box. Put it in your backpack in the back of your car or wherever. But again, be able to charge things, not rely even on solar power if you have it. But I, I don't think a lot of people think about the emergency situation when you're out of power, you have no electricity, you're out of water. Those things freak people out because they're like, well, I, how do I charge my phone? And all of a sudden you, you don't think about that. Or how do I listen without a data plan to what's going on? You know, cell services are overwhelmed. You can't make her uh, phone calls or send texts. So something like this, low tech, very reliable, will keep you going. Um, it's better to have something like this than nothing at all. Solar panel, radio, crank dynamo, flashlight, phone charger. I love it. Check it out. The Iron's now. I'll put a link to it in the description. I got it on Amazon. Peter Von Hand out.